in your life. Trust God. I feel that right now all in my spirit. Trust God. Don't lean on men. Don't fear what somebody can do, what somebody might say. Don't be afraid of the boss. Don't be afraid when your bank account looks skimpy. Trust God. I remember years ago, I had a pain in my side, my right side, y'all. Uh-huh. Oh, was I scared. And my husband and I, we were praying. And I said, oh, Milton, I don't know this thing. You know, I don't ever want to have to have an operation. I've never had surgery. I don't plan to ever have one. Oh, I need God to heal this. Now, at the time, I was doing something that never occurred to me might cause that to happen. So I'll tell you what it is in a minute. So oh, I'm starting to cry and laying in the bed, head on the pillow, tears running back. You know how we do. And I'm trying so hard not to totally panic. Because I know God's in control. I'm like, oh God, I know you love me. I'm, I'm trying to praise him, but it's a wimpy praise. You hear me? I'm like, God, please tell me what's wrong with me, Lord. I mean, I'm just whining and crying, and but I'm still consulting with the Lord. Okay. Well, as it turns out, while I'm laying there, the Lord puts a picture in my head. And the picture is what I had been doing for about two months straight. Every other week, I mean, no, every, what, maybe twice a week or once a week or once every five days or whatever, Mama Sita was going to the sparklets bottle, picking up the five-gallon bottle off the floor, picking it up, flipping it over and turning it and loading up the dispenser. God showed me it's just a muscle, baby. It'll be all right. But he didn't say that. This is what he did. He showed me that after he gave me this song. This is what cracked me up. He gave me a song, and we're going to have somebody sing during this service, too. They just came on. Um, but we, um, they had, the Lord played the song in my head. And this is how you know God is communicating with you. When he gives you a song, you know it, but you can't recognize it till afterwards. And um, let me see. Let me see if I can pull it up. Hang on a second. You know, we're dealing with a, a dusty brain here. Um, old folks, you know. Uh, okay, thank you, Lord. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the melody. And this is all I could do was hum it. I said, Milton, does this sound familiar to you? God's been running it in my head. Da 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 it kind of sounds, but I can't tell, baby. And I said, oh, what is that song? Lord, I need to know what the song is so I know what you're saying to me. Boom! I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent your my word to heal your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. It's that chorus of healing. Now, I'm like, Milton, God's going to heal it. I don't know what it is, but God's going to heal it. And I sang the song to him. He said, oh, that's great, baby. Now, check it out. This is what happened. After I finally settled down and relaxed, now I know God said he's going to heal me. Then he pops in my mind the memory of what I had been doing those two months, lifting the sparkless bottle and plopping it up on the dispenser. That's when he revealed to me, it's only a muscle, baby. You'll be all right. <laughs> but I was so scared. He had to minister to me. I was so scared. You know, 
I'd never had that in my life. And I was like, oh, no, not that. You know. Anyway, so sharing with you how praising God, crying out to God, you will get answers. You don't have to grovel, um, gra grapple through the darkness. God will shed his light on your darkness.